Here in the deformity which we call it mycotia is a congenital abnormality which is usually a rare condition. We have a long experience in reconstructing and re-shaping re, uh, uh, the eel. We have actually two options. We either use a uh, sewer graft and this sewer graft is fixed to the temporal bone and then covered with the fascia of the temporal muscle and also covered with the skin in order to give a natural looking shape. And this, I mean, the sewer has, has is usually soft and it will look like almost a normal eel. Or the other option, we get a, a, a graft from the, uh, from the ribs, a cartilage graft, and we reshape it, rearrange it in the same shape of the eel, and again fix this cartilage to the bone, and cover it again with the fascia of the timber and muscle, and then cover it with, uh, over with the skin in order to give the normal shape. So the procedure usually can be considered in children from the age of, of 18 and above, even for age 20, 30, whatever, the field is starting from the age of up eight, and usually a very useful operation. And as you see from the photograph, it will offer the patient a natural looking ear and a lifetime lasting ear. The procedure really involves uh, operation in the hospital and seen on the hospital for about two to, to three days. Please call us if you have a similar case of Gorbizamid in Dubai. Sasha Biza, consultant, facial plastic surgeon, certified by the Royal College of Surgeon of England in uh, autoblasty, eagle construction, in radioblasty, and face and neck lifting. Thank you.